Sewing. So. Sewing. Saw. Saw. Sewing. Sew. My English isn't good enough to pronounce that correctly. Okay, so I have a lot of uh, mail unopened, so I'm going to go through my mailbag now and just open them all in one sweep. So, let's see what we have here. First off, we have something from ElectroKit. And if I remember correctly, it's a set of screwdrivers. So, uh, it's uh, this kind of, I um, don't know what they are called in, in English, but uh, they are special screwdrivers. This kind of um, star screwdrivers. Uh, very popular in uh, screws for small electronics these days. And I bought it to be able to get into this guy. Welcome back to the shop today, a treat especial. Dyson's most powerful handheld. Fuck you! So my Dyson vacuum has these kind of screws in there and to get this open, I, I need these screws. So, great. Now I have, I have those. Secondly, we have this large package and uh, it's actually, I know what's in here. It's actually an upgrade to my, my uh, technical drawing tools. As you, if you've seen that episode, you've seen me trying to get a, a technical pen to work. I really don't, I don't like, like when you buy, you buy things, things and you feel, and you feel stupid. stupid. And it took me a while to realize that the pen came without ink. So for one thing, there should be ink in here for that pen. So let's see if I can... Oh, all these IQ tests. Yeah, here's the ink and oh yeah, I actually also ordered ink for my my rollerball pen. Uh, is that a correct word in English? Um, the, the roller point, the, the ah, anyhow. So there's the ink for my pen, I'm going to try that out later. And also I, yeah, I got me a cutting mat. Every maker worth the name should have a cutting mat. At least I think so. So if you don't have a cutting mat, well, you know what I think. So I'm going to put that into use. This stuff, I actually forgot what this is. Is it from China? Could be from Amazon. Oh, haha! I didn't, I didn't understand this. So okay, <laughs> this is uh, now we get an insight into my readings. Um, this is Jordan B. Peterson, his latest book, Twelve Rules for Life. Good and interesting and thoughtful stuff, and you really need to listen to him before you judge him. I like this guy, um, and uh, I'm going to read this book and enjoy it. So yeah. So back to the technical stuff. Uh, here we have something I really don't know what it is. It came came recently. So let's dig into this. It's my batteries. So although my my makerspace and my electronic labs isn't up and running yet, I, I couldn't help myself to ordering stuff for it so these are from eBay and they are lithium-ion batteries so I bought eight of these so this is the first time I actually have one have some of my own so uh, yeah, <laughs> I uh, I wanted this. With that 
batteries. So, well, oh, I got them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten of them. Oh, great. It's like Christmas. So, now the final package. And uh, I, I also forgot what this is. Um, but maybe I can guess it can be. Could it be from Adafruit? Yeah, it could be. Let's, let's dig in here and see. Hopefully, it's electronics. We have three electronics kits in here from. Oh, it's from SparkFun. So, we have three identical ones. And uh, spoiler alert if you're watching, Axel and Arvid is going to get get uh, one of these and I'm going to keep one for myself. So this is uh, the uh, from the Lillipad series. It's, um, what's it called? It's electronics that you sew on to clothing. Uh, yeah, it's called e-sewing. Sewing? Sewing? So. Sew. Saw. Saw. My English is good enough pronounce that correctly. So anyhow, what it is, is that, uh, oh, you, you actually get some some cloth too, okay. Anywho, what you get is uh, this thread that's electric conductive, so you can you can uh, make electronic circuits with it by by sewing. So, I'm not, I'm not sure I'm saying that correctly. It, it sounds like I'm how do you differentiate, differentiate between sewing so with a thread or sewing saw saw with a saw and sewing sew like what lawyers do oh language is so hard anywho it's uh, what you get here is a, a set of small uh, uh, leads and a battery holder, and I think there is a microcontroller on there too, so that you can program it from the computer. So, yeah, that's, uh, no, I have one more. Um, so this I ordered already in November. So this is a power controller. It's, um, it's a Triac, I think, Triac. It's, uh, it's a very cheap one, so I, I'm not sure it's a, it's a full, double, both positive and negative power controller or, or if it's only a half, uh, half cycle controller. At least I wanted to try this on my circle saw because uh, it has no soft start. So <laughs> it, it kind of scares me, this, this monster saw. So I, I, as it is a universal motor on there, it should be possible to power control it and make a, a soft start with, with this. Uh, let's see how that goes. It's, uh, it's really not exciting. It's, it's, you just get this, uh, um, this uh, electronics all epoxied in, so you can get in there and you get a potentiometer to control the, the um, power level. Um, so yeah, let's see what we can do with that. That's all for now. Nice to have that uh, out of the system. I see you next time and uh, thank you for watching. If you like my videos, feel free to do nothing. Just grab a cup of coffee. And enjoy.